fourth set will be played on Newkirk. Spawning in the bottom right-hand position as the Blue Terran from Samson Kong, excuse me, bottom left. His name is Turn. Yeah, it's kind of tricky to tell uh, if it's bottom left or bottom right. On on Newkirk, it's like basically impossible. All right, I think I can I can figure it out now. It's a very slight difference. Okay, I saw that too. And on the bottom right side, this guy's name is Cure, playing for Kespa teammate. Yeah. As Orange Terran. Both of these players are known to have uh, somewhat aggressive styles of play. Yeah, well, we do have to mention that Turn is uh, more aggressive compared to Cure. That's true. Cure are better at multitasking and dropping throughout the late game. He still has the ability to macro. Yeah. Here's the thing. The Cure style is, uh, like you said, heavy multitasking while dragging into the mid to late game, having some advantage. Turn, hip, really aggressive and tries to end the game before dragging it into the late game. I would have to say, though, Turn has one of the most unique styles in Pro League. It's hey. very hard for a professional StarCraft player to really own his own unique style of play. Speaking of unique style, Gas First from Turn. Did you expect anything else, man? <laughs> Maybe two racks. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, uh, he has done some cheeses before in this map in the past. Especially against Bisu? Yeah, that's the one I was mm -hmm. thinking of. Didn't work out for him. Mm -hmm. So Cure is getting a barracks and he's not getting a gas behind this, which means that it's going to be a gas this play. Most likely going to be, uh, well, there we go, gas down. Just wanted to hold on for a sec because I was, I thought it was 16, 19 for a second, but realized it was 15. So I did correct myself at the correct time. Yes. It's okay, man. I'm sorry, I'm just a little mind boggled with the whole situation right now. So. All right, well, no worries. We're here to cast the for you guys, and that's what we're going to do. Camera or no, cam no camera, we are casting anyways. Yep. All right, looks like Cure is sending his SCV into turns main base. Going to do some scouting here. Identifies the early factory as well. He's going to be able to take advantage of this knowledge. I like the fact that Turn doesn't care if his opponent scouts or not, because usually if they try to go for really fast, uh, really fast refinery into a factory play like that, some players, they try to wall off, making sure that the SCVs do not get a scouting inside the main base. Turns like, well, I don't care if you see the factory, because whatever I'm going to do, I am going to make it work. And what's so scary about StarCraft is that there are some times where the player knows what's coming, and they can't defend. Yeah. There are times like that. All right, so we got an uh, SCV moving over here. We're going to go home. And uh, we have a few Marines now <laughs> moving across the map. Turn loves to do this, man. That's just what he does. Mm-hmm. Turn just loves to be a little more aggressive early in the game, and seems like he's going to get a command center right behind this. Yep, also, apparently, we have some uh, new adapter connected to the television. <laughs> I don't know if the streamers can actually see that, man. Well, it says yes or no. Which one do you pick? I pick yes, man. Okay. I'm a yes, man. Have, did you ever see that movie with Jim Carrey, Yes, Man? I haven't seen it, but I heard about it. Yeah, then again, I grew up in Korea, so I haven't watched too many American movies. Well, I mean, it came out like a few years ago. It's more recent. Hmm. So. Then that's my fault. Yeah. All right, looks like you're going to uh, spill first blood, killing off a few of these. Just one Marine, not a few. But Turn is uh, sending out a Hellion now. And uh, here, he's going to be able to complete the, the factory here. He's also got the supply depots, and he can take advantage of the high ground. I like the positioning, though. He can potentially yeah. catch, catch turn off guard. Just scouting to see if there's a command center on the low ground yet, which there isn't, but will be soon. Right. Factory now has the reactor on it, so we can see maybe some widow mines or looks like some, maybe more Hellions here. We have turn going for a fast third command center, and I notice he does like to do this a lot as well. Yeah, he really likes to stay aggressive while going for t tons of command centers behind this, so that he could, if the attack fails, then at least he has really great economy behind it. Indeed. Starport tech on the way now for here. He's going to pull ahead in the tech wars list for now. We have a tech lab out on being made for turn as well, so this means most likely going to be bio. Yeah. Now, I wanted to point about how turn with the two Marines before, and he was trying to push, he was trying to make something happen against the four Marines. He knows it's impossible to do so, but he needs to attack something. He wants to punch something, anyways. Now, I also love. That cure, he scanned the barracks, but he didn't see the fast third command center. And these Hellions are going to give Turn a lot of really good map control. Yeah, well, his opponent also has the same number of Hellions, so Turn needs to go away. I know he loves to punch his opponent. I love he loves to stay aggressive, but at this time, 
not the right decision to throw away the Hellions just to, you know, satisfy himself. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at everything that Kira's doing right now. He's, it looks like he's, he's really focused and playing very solid here. He's got great map coverage around his map. We'll see any drops coming towards him. You know, he's going interesting, getting a tech lab mm. add-on for that Starport. Going to be doing a Widowmine drop as well against his opponent, but Turn already having some units in his main base will be able to hold off this attack mm -hmm. without too much of an issue. But yeah, he, look at this, Cure, he's going to attack at the nat inside the main base with the Widowmine Drop, or also attacking the Natural with the Hellions. Ooh, and there's nothing really here for defense. I mean, there's, there's two, two Hellions. There's and few SCVs, but he, the damage will be done no matter what. I think so turn, he needs to defend against this relatively easily, and here we go. Two Widow Mines are not going to drop because that's a fake inside the main base. That's the four Hellions arrive at the natural. Turn is not paying attention. Uh-oh, turn, Turn's going to actually lose a lot of uh -oh. SCVs here. And he... Oh whoa. my god! Holy crap! That was just such a, off a crap ton of uh, SCVs here. That was such a late reaction. He was so scared about oh. the Widow Mine that he gave away 11 SCVs at the natural. And here comes the Widow Mines. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the best decision. Does it hurt SCVs? Of... Does it hurt SCVs? Uh, no! But only gets one because the splash damage wasn't that great. Uh, Cure's still saving one of the Widow Mines, though doing a lot of damage to those Hellions. Now the SCV count way in the advantage yeah. for Cure. 38 to 34. But and remember, uh, Turn has three command centers, which means that Kieran needs to do a little bit more damage to gain an economic advantage compared to his opponent. Also, interestingly enough, we have that tech lab add-on made on that starport, but immediately it lifted up and went on the reactor. Looks like we're going to have a double Hellbat drop here from Cure. And this you know what, man? When, when players start using the Hellbats... That's, that's, a, that's the start of TBT. That's this fun. is where TBT begins with the Hellbats. I'm really surprised that Turn is not going for the Hellbats given the style that uh, Turn loves to go for. I know, he's really just focusing on his bio army now. And oh no, there's almost nothing in the main base. Turn's going to lose a lot of units, potentially these Hellbats here. There is a Viking out to eventually deal with these medivacs, but Cure, man, he this is the harassment that we know for him. Even oh, the Widowmine shot up. goes off. Now a 10 SCV advantage for Cure, despite Turn having that early third command center. Now there has been, okay, he killed up to 20 SCVs, but the difference between the two players is 12 SCVs. Third command center is still not up for Cure, which means that Turn can eventually catch up. And if you think about it, he lost them. No, no. He lost two of the medibacks. Well, there's a third command center. No. Sorry, we don't have the production tab. All right, well, Turn really trying to focus on this biocentric army. Cure, he's going to go into mech, and the Vikings, they're going to just oh, barely miss so the medevac. Oh, oh, I think they realized at the last second, but the Hellbat's going to move into the main base of Turn, and he's not reacting fast enough. All right, now move some of his SCVs off the mineral line, but, you know, I think he killed off at least the four to five workers there. He did, and now the medevac just get taken out, but the Hellbats are even getting some Hellies, oh, and look at this double Oh, my God! Huge hits going off, so many SCVs getting killed by the Hellbats here. And dude, these feel like re these feel like Reaver drops in Brood War, man. They just they're you gonna know, do so much damage. Turn is probably telling himself, "Oh, this is what it feels like to get harassed 24/7. <laughs> this is what my opponent feels when I play my games." Uh, so here he's going mech. He's already secured a supply advantage. He's got that third command center up as well. And, I mean, he, he may just go for an attack here. He's, yeah. he's really far behind now. 20, almost 30 supply behind and, his opponent. And you know that a player is so ahead into the game, if a player going mech has more supply than the player going bio. Yep. And Kyrus, just, he's just going to continue this harassment here. He also has a lot of Vikings on the map. This is going to allow him to take air control, and the drops are going to be able to continuously do damage here. Oh. Um, not sure if these drops are really the right decision for turn right now as well. He needs to stay on the defensive and just work on improving his army. I'm going to ask you a hard question. How can turn come back into this game? He's, he's going to need to completely just stomp the next drop or two. This is a nice start for him. Uh, he's going to be able to get a, a bit of an air advantage here. This is actually just a bit of a mistake by here. But now this is exactly what he needs to do if he wants to get back into this game. There's a lot of Hellbats and tanks here, and they're moving out the worst possible time. Oh, but the oh, now they're going to move back, uh, the Medivacs. There's no good places for turn the drop and cure. And this also this also means there's no units inside the main base and there's a helmet drop. Oh, this is terrible. No, this is not what turn wants to do. Cure completely ready for this. And now there's going to be more Hellbats and the natural of turn. Oh, this attack getting completely held off almost effortlessly by cure. Now 122 supplies, the 60 
The Marauders, they can't kite forever. Eventually, the Hellbats will pick them off, and uh, this is just looking really, really bleak for turn. Yeah, well, he was trying to satisfy himself, saying, I need to throw some punch against my opponent. That's a guy that I'm known for, but it just didn't work out as his opponent already had enough Hellbats. He tried to make something happen, but he just doesn't have enough units. GG. Turn realized that he was just way too far behind his opponent. And Cure, are we are we going to see, like, the cure that we first saw in the beginning of Pro League come back because this is two days in a row and he's shown some pretty good form. Well, we still have to see his TVP where, you know, he's not, he has been doing well in that matchup, but it seems like he's been getting back to the form that he was in back in round number one and two. Indeed, so personally, I hope to see more of that from him because he's such an exciting player to watch. Mm -hmm. In turn, he needs to make sure that even if though he loves to play aggressive, sometimes he needs to learn to just stay defensive. Indeed. All right, so the score is currently 2-2, two two, tied between Samsung Khan and Kespa Teammate. We'll be back after this commercial break.